Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up cron jobs on CentOS 7. So I have uh, a picture here that I took a screen grab out of CentOS, which just gives us an idea of how to set up our cron jobs. So basically, there are five stars which represent uh, different times. So you can get an idea of this if you had a job that you run to, wanted to run every minute of every day, you'd go star, 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 and then your command to run. Uh, that will all make a little bit more sense now in a minute. So we'll hop into CentOS here and we'll set up some cron jobs to see how they run. Okay, so I'll just show you what I have set up here so we can get an idea of how we're going to make sure that our cron job is running. So I have a script directory here, and if I type ls, I have a cron test.sh, which is a bash script that I uh, wrote earlier. Now it's only a couple of lines, so I'll just show you what this is doing. So within here, you can see it's uh, getting a variable for date, which will give us today's time and date. And then basically what it's going to do, it's going to touch create a file with today's date and time as that file name. So if I run this now, we'll see that we have a file with today's date and time. So it gives us an indication of when that script was run. So let me just remove that file for the moment. And what we'll do is we'll hop into cron now and we'll set up a job that will run that script and we can see it being produced um, when it creates director, the file for us. Okay, so all you need to do is type in cron tab space minus e, and you'll be brought to this screen here. So what I'm gonna type in here now is, I'm gonna press I to go into insert mode, and I'm gonna press star space star space star, and until I have five stars, I'll do a space, and then I'm going to put in my home directory, which is forward slash home. Uh, and then I'm going to put in Darren, which is where my scripts folder is. And I'll put in scripts. And I'll put in that cron test dot sh. Let's make sure we have that right. And it looks like we do. So I'm going to press escape, colon, w, q, and explanation mark to write and quit the file. Let's just double check we have that right. And that looks okay. So we're right and quit that. And now what I'll do is I'll pause the video for a few minutes and we'll come back and we'll ls in that directory and see has cron run those jobs for us. Okay, so it's been several minutes here. So let's run an ls on our scripts directory. And we can see there's been a couple of files created with the timestamp. So that means that cron is running that job for us as we expect. So let's have a look at a few more options that we can do with cron. So I'm gonna open up the cron, ta cron tab again by running cron tab dash e. So say if you wanted to run your cron job every five minutes, you just need to come in front of your first star, put a forward slash and put five. And that means in every fifth minute of every day, run this command. So what if you wanted to run it every hour? So you just need to change this here to get rid of your star and put a zero. And that would mean on the zero minute of every hour, so at the start of the hour, run this command for us. So there are some other options you can do. So what if you wanted to run it every day? You just put zero here, and that would mean at the start of the day, your job would run. So there's really lots of permutations that you can do with cron and this short video is really only to scratch the surface but hopefully it will be enough to get you up and running. There's a good site which I've used called crontab.guru um, that allows you to actually key in figures here and it will tell you how your job will run. So it's great. So if I put in star here it will tell you this is going to run at every minute. So let's just key in something here. We put in three. It will say at every minute on day of the month three. So there's definitely a lot of options you can use. And I really recommend using this crontab.guru to uh, play around with some of the permutations that you can do. Um, if you encountered any difficulty by following along, please be sure to comment below. And if I can help, I certainly will. And thanks for watching.